Uh, I was 17 in the back of a 104-year-old church, and I remember standing at the back, and they're all singing, and and I felt this presence come on me. Never been into a church before, and uh, I said to myself, "Holy beep!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think this thing's real. And so I it sent me on this crazy journey pursuing God that made me fall wildly, desperately in love with Jesus. And like just with an encounter, like one encounter. Before like I heard the gospel, I felt him. Before like I heard the gospel, I felt him. Before I heard the gospel, I felt him. So although this man is a false teacher, not everything he said is totally wrong. He did get one part right. Now, what I want to do is I want to say something and I want to also explain what I mean. Now, what I want to say is he was right that you can and there are people, there are Christians, true Christians who were saved without hearing the gospel. Now, I want to break down before you start tripping. Let me explain biblically what I mean. OK, what I mean is there are two points to salvation. OK, there is one a sense in which there is a singular day, a moment in history in which a sinner is supernaturally regenerated by the Holy Spirit and is born again. And two, there is a part of salvation in which the sinner, through a lifelong lived process of sanctification, lives out and grows in his salvation. Okay, so we are saved and we are being saved. And what I mean is, a lot of times, true Christians were saved out of sheer self-preservation. And I'll use myself as an example. Okay, I remember that day that I got saved. I was in my apartment by myself, and that week, God had caused things to happen in my life that had brought me to such a low state to where I was so broken, I was so hopeless. I remember I was sitting on the couch, I was smoking a blunt, and I was watching. This was the first time, this is how wicked I was. This is the first time I was watching a, uh, some youth pastor talk about, I can't remember exactly what I was watching, but I know he was a Christian. And this was the first time that I had ever seen a Christian video on YouTube. I didn't even know there were Christian videos on YouTube. That's how wicked I was. And I had found this video and I'm watching it. And he was talking about hope or whatever. I can't remember what he was talking about. But I remember just getting up and crying out to the Lord right there alone in my apartment. Not because I heard the gospel that he could save, that he could save you from the wrath of God and save you from your sins and that he was the only hope of salvation. It wasn't that. It was... I was hopeless and he was the only thing I had. I couldn't look left, couldn't look right. All I could do was look up to Christ. Okay. And so I didn't hear the gospel. Okay. And I cried out to the Lord and something happened to me. I was changed in that moment. I was born again. And the next day I went out and bought a Bible, my first Bible. And that's the first time I was able to, I was presented with the gospel when I went into the New Testament. Okay. And so it was the singular moment in which I was saved out of sheer self-preservation and then it was the life lived after that through sanctification in which I learned of the gospel. I shared the gospel and I grew in the things of God. So this is what I mean when I say he was to a de degree, right? Even though he was false because his account is wrong and he's a false teacher, but he wasn't wrong in the say that it's possible for a sinner to be saved without hearing the gospel in that moment. And that's all I want to clarify. And I hope I've explained that so you can understand my position.